All right, time to do another uh, comic book review, and this one is another comic that comes from my friend uh, Chris. Chris, thank you once again for the Marvel Hall and this book as well. And that is Moon Knight City of the Dead. Moon Knight City of the Dead is a, is a miniseries that takes place during the Jed McKay initial Moon Knight run. I guess you could call this, like, Moon Knight Volume 4.5. That's kind of, like, that's what it, I feel like it's trying to be, is, like, a part of the... Even though it also showcases that, like, they clearly don't... It, like, the writer didn't really pick up on, like, a lot of the things with Moon Knight and the Jed McKay run, just kind of the bare minimum. Um, but whatever. We'll get into that in a bit. But basically, let's talk about the story. So the story is, is that uh, Mark Spector is battling this group who worship an, uh, this uh, death cult called the Sons of the Jackal. And basically what they are, are hunting kids and killing them, and they meet, and they are hunting a boy named Khalil. And Khalil has basically been, you know, under the protection of Moon Knight since he keeps coming to the Midnight Mission. Moon Knight does attack, uh, during a fight, uh, Khalil is gravely wounded, and while he manages to get him to his brother-in-arms and, um, and a fellow, uh, Fist of Khonshu, Hunter's Moon, aka, aka Dr. Badir, Khalil's soul is still in the underworld. So through an ancient ritual, Moon Knight, uh, Mark goes to the un Egyptian underworld where he goes to look for the boy's soul, but along the way, he not only encounters that Osiris has gone missing, but also that there's a bigger game at play, and on top of that, his former love, uh, Layla, is now the Scarlet Scarab and now protecting the Egyptian underworld, and the two of them travel... Um, to find out what the big, what this big play is. So, the story itself is, um, interesting because, like, but, it, like, the, it, it feels very hollow connect, hollow yeah, hollow is a word. I almost said Halloween, I was like, that's not a word. It feels like a hollow connection to the Jed McKay run, because Badir, at, by this point, where they're trying to set this book, Badir and, and Mark have, have set aside their differences and are treating each other like brothers. Here, it's just like, you're an asshole, I fucking hate you. Um, but, uh, yeah. The other thing is, too, is that this is, this comic is just a vehicle to give us Scarlet Scarab in the Marvel Universe, uh, Layla, uh, from the TV show, and that's really what it is. Um, it's just a vehicle, and yes, Layla does show up in Jed McKay's run, but in a flashback, and that's really as far as he, um, acknowledges this comic. Basically, the book, like I said, it's just a... A piece to bring in Layla. That's really what it is. And Layla has been a character that they've merged with other, with two other characters, and they try to like have this retcon that she was like the Catwoman to his Batman in a way back when he was a mercenary. Which, yeah, we retcon in origins for character uh, for new char We retcon in new characters for uh, for uh, for you know known characters. This happens in comics and all the time. Here, it's just like. Um, we have this whole thing that they were lovers, and they knew each other, and again, that's, uh, like, you see that with Batman all the time, or Wolverine, where he had a lover in the past that we didn't, we just now know about, and they died. So yeah, I forgive it, but the, the, the whole point of it is that it's more of a vehicle to showcase that, and it does have, like, Amit in here. Thankfully, it's not, like, a total 100% adaptation of the uh, Oscar Isaac TV show. It's just, like, Layla's here, Amit's here, but she doesn't, pl Amit doesn't play a big role, what really is the thing is that uh, Mark's real enemy is the Jackal Knight, who turns out to be his brother Randall, aka the Shadow Knight. So the two of the, uh, so Randall um, is dead, and the t and he's not only uh, not only that, a lot of Mark's old enemies are here too. For some reason, rather than be in hell or something, they're in specifically the Egyptian underworld. It doesn't really talk about how. Like, people who never were... Like, I I could get Randall. Like, I can get why Randall was here, because he dabbled in Egyptian, you know, magic too. So it would stand to reason why he's here. But everyone else, like, um, Mid the Midnight Man and Master Sniper and Pla all the others, like, the other guys, I'm and, Dar and, like, Black Spectre, I'm like, why the fuck are you here? How? Why? Like, you're just here. Like, because here's the thing. Moon Knight doesn't really have a rogues gallery, so much as he has a body count. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, the fights are pretty good. I re there are some solid action pieces. And it is interesting because, like, um, we do... When we look through the Egyptian afterlife, 
it basically is kind of treated like a city, and even, like, some of them are gangsters. And I'm like, that's weird. But then I remember um, Badir mentions this men uh, this uh, uh, thing to Mark saying that, like, you know, the Egyptian underworld's a lot different, and it's basically going to shape in the form of however you perceive it. So, it, so that makes sense, that m how Mark is seeing the Egyptian underworld is like a city that... Um, he's used to. Like, it looks like similar to, like, a New York that he's... A, it's like an Egyptian version of New York because that's what Mark is used to and that's what his mind is har and heart are used to. The, um... The story is pretty solid. Um... I will say that the, uh, narration does get a little boring um, at times because it's just kind of telling us what we're already seeing. I will say, though, that David Propose, the writer, does know his Moon Knight lore. Um, in terms of, like, the rogues gallery. So I gotta hand it to that. Um, as for, like, the big plot of what Randall's doing in the underworld and how it connects to Ran uh, to um, Osiris's disappearance is pretty cool. I don't want to spoil that, but it is pretty fucked up um, in all things regard uh, why Khalil was needed. Like, why the reason Khalil was needed. Um, it's a pretty fucked up uh, idea, and it's actually kind of clever in how to utilize it in, again, a fucked up way. So yeah, do I recommend... At the end of the day, do I recommend Moon Knight City of the Dead? Um, yeah. Like I said, I was a diehard fan of the Jed McKay uh, initial run, and I can't wait to read in trade uh, Vengeance of the Moon Knight. I can't wait to read that in trade when it comes out, I believe, August. But yeah, it's kind of nice to visit that era of Moon Knight again. Um, but still... I do think, like, it's kind of a hollow thing, because it doesn't- it feels like all surface level to the Jed McKay connection, but it is still a fun adventure, and if, like, you're a diehard Moon Knight fan, you'll appreciate the, um, the, con the connective tissue to the past. Plus, Le uh, seeing Layla as the Scarlet, Scar Scarlet Scarab, um, is cool. Even though, yes, the whole point with it, this comic was just meant to be a vehicle to introduce her. Um, yeah. And I don't know if they'll ever use that. The thing is, is like, I don't know if they'll ever use this character again. That's the, uh, that's what I'm really questioning is like, are you, okay, you introduced her, are you going to use her again? Because so far, the answer is no. Like, it just, like, yeah, it, it, as long as they use Layla again as Scarlet Scarab, it would be really cool rather than just be a one and done. It's like, oh, she's in the Marvel Universe now and we're never going to talk about her again. So hopefully that will change. So once again, I'd like to thank my friend Chris for sending me this comic, and you guys tell me in the comments below, if you read Moon Knight City of the Dead, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.